Hey guys, Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video and we all know that Fortnite Chapter 3 is out and here we are and I'll be showing you guys how to get better FPS and fix frame drops, lags and stutter and this guide is suitable for all kinds of rigs no matter you're playing on a low-end PC or on a high-end PC or on a medium-end PC so make sure to stick around till the end and I hope this helps you out. Also, I have a small request. Since we are really close to 20k subscribers and 98% of you guys have any subscribed so please consider subscribing to the channel Channel. I really love you guys a lot and with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, so before moving ahead, I wanna let you guys know about the very important step that you guys need to follow that is pressing the Windows key and type in create a restore point. So once you are here, just make sure to click on configure. Make sure to turn on system protection, hit apply, hit OK, and then select your local disk C, click on create, name it anything, I'll name it restore, and then click on create. This is just a fail safe in case anything goes wrong, you guys can revert back all the changes you've made. So I recommend you guys do this before going ahead because anything can damage your PC. It will take a minute or two, so don't worry, let it do its job, its most important step you'll see a pop-up which says the restore point was created successfully. All you have to do is click on close, hit on OK, and now we are ready to perform our steps. So Alright, before moving ahead, I want to introduce you guys to this video's sponsor, Keysoft, where you guys can buy genuine software as well as game keys for absolute low prices. It is like a Black Friday, but every day. They have free delivery worldwide, money back guarantee, as well as 24-7 support. You should definitely give it a try. Go visit Keysoft and get your desired game or software today. Links in the description below. And let's move back to the video. So I'll make it quick and simple. You have to download this FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Now as soon as you open up this folder, you'll find in three files. The first one is for CPU tweaks. Second one is for management tweaks. And third one is for program tweaks. Moving ahead to the CPU tweaks, you'll find in three files. First one is for priority. Second one is for threat priority. And third one is for priority class. Just make sure to follow all these three uh, files. Uh, all of them has a specific function and specific reason why they exist here. These three files will help your CPU run on its limit. They will boost the performance of your CPU by changing some registry files. So all you have to do is right click on them and click on merge. Then give them administrative permissions and follow the three files the same way. Moving ahead to the second one which is the management tweaks and again in here you'll find two files. First one is disabling power throttling and second one is disabling game optimizations. So all you have to do is right click and merge them again. They both have their specific reason why they are existing here and it will help your game to run much smoother and faster. This will help you guys reduce lags and this will help you reduce input delay as well as stutters. So both of them has their reasons to exist over here. So just apply them the same way you did with the other registry files. And then let's move ahead to the third folder which is the programs folder you'll find in four programs in here the first one which is the mz ram booster and these are just the installers so open up mz ram booster and the interface should look like this now over here go to the tweaks section and then click on disable ntfs last access update and then for all of these uh msec leave it to 2000 then go to the options section over here and then copy all of these things. Try to recover, which is 100 MB and then auto optimization. So keep it 2500 and for try increase free RAM to MB. So just make it half the way of your PC memory. Now I have 16 gigabyte installed physical memory. You guys can check it by typing system information over here and then a panel will open up right like this. Scroll a bit down, make sure to see your installed physical memory. It says 16 GB, so just half of it, which is 8 GB, and in MB, it is 8000 MB. So round it off, keep it half of your total physical memory. Then for the pause between auto optimization, leave it to 30, and these two options make it 60 and 30. And then click on load on Windows startup. 
Once done with that, click on apply settings and then click on smart optimize. And as you guys can see, we have 18.8 GB free memory. And if you get more FPS lags, you guys can even click on CPU boost and let it perform the boosting and it will do everything properly. Once done with that, click on center tray and let it run in the background. Next thing is park control and now I get you two options. Either you use park control or either you use high performance by throttle stop. I highly recommend you guys use park control. So just run this setup and open up park control. All right, so once you've opened park control, it should look like this. Click on this drop down button and then select with some highest performance and then make sure that everything is at 100% throttling. Make sure to enable two of these options. The first one, which is with some dynamic boost enable. And the second one is show power plan change notification. So in case you change your power plan, it will give you a pop up notification. It says that your plan has been changed. Make sure to select back with some highest performance. And then once you're done with that, click on apply and then click on OK. Once done with that, now moving ahead to the third application, which is throttle stop. And this is one of the best applications because it will work for your Intel CPU graphics or your Nvidia or AMD. It works for everything and it is the one stop shop for everything. So just open it up. The throttle stop application should look like this and you'll find in four pickup plans like uh, this thing so just select the second one and just say game over here if not try picking any of them which says game on the top and then you click on high performance and this will change your current power plan but don't worry it is the best and then make sure to enable these three options in here and once in with that click on turn on and then your throttle stop will be working just minimize and send it back to the tray now for the third option it says timer resolution now this we all know we use it for reducing the input delay in fortnite specifically you get a lot of input delay so i highly recommend you guys to run timer resolution each time you open up the game all you have to do is open this app up click on maximum and then minimize it or let it go back into the tray timer resolution will help you guys a lot so once you're done with that Click on OK and you're done with all of the FPS pack things. All right, next up is this optional application, which I believe will help you guys a lot. It is exit lag and it is the pros choice for reducing lags and latency in your game. Now why I am featuring exit lag is because I find this application very useful. So I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. And once you are on a page like this, click on your free three days trial and then download exit lags latest version. All right, so once you open up exit lag, it should look like this and it has over 250 games to choose from. Just search here for Fortnite and you will see Fortnite over here. Now let it analyze the routes for the game it will show you all of the up running servers and the best connectivity to all of them as you guys can see for the game region i live in mumbai so i'll be using the asia mumbai servers and then click on both of these options and leave everything as it is click on apply routes and you guys will see fortnite will be added over here they also offer you a lot of other things first one is the tools as you guys can see you can automatically start it up with windows you can enable exit lag on start so i highly recommend you guys to turn on the second and the last two options over here and all of these options down below and the accuracy and route optimization should be turned to high then go to the second option which says the fps boost turn on the first option fourth option and last two options these will help you guys gain a lot more fps and once you're done with that just close exit lag exit lag is free to use for three days but then you have to get the plan the subscription for exit lag which is being sold at monthly semi-annual or quarterly billing and the best part is that if you are the first time subscriber for exit lag and you use code bearfox20 you'll get a flat 20 percent discount so make sure you guys consider buying exit lag all right here are some more optional settings that will help you guys a lot and i believe that you should do it first things first search for graphic settings 
and you'll be going to a page like this in your settings. Now all you have to do is make sure to enable hardware accelerator GPU scheduling and then select the app and go to the download location, add Fortnite over here and Fortnite launcher over here just the way I have added them. Go to options and then select high performance both of the places. It will add your GPU right in here. Then once you have added them, next step is press windows and r together type in percentage temp percentage and the big folder with temporary files will pop right in front of you press ctrl a and shift delete each and every file and you don't have to worry because you're not deleting any important application or file these are just temporary files and you won't be able to delete some of them as they are being used by your pc at the current moment so just skip them and it should be good to go Similarly, remove the percentage and type temp and another folder will pop right in front of you. Delete everything that you can and you're good to go. And once you're done with that, open up Fortnite and then perform the in-game settings. All right, so once you are in game, press your escape key and then go to settings in the menu. And once you are here, go to your frame limit make sure to keep it unlimited and then scroll a bit down and until you find your auto set quality and for quality preset i highly recommend you guys to go to custom for 3d resolution and go to 100 and for view distance i recommend you guys to keep it far or medium and if you have a pretty good pc you can go for epic as well and for rest everything i highly recommend you guys to keep it off and low if possible then scroll down, make sure to turn off your VSync, turn off your motion blur, make sure to turn on show FPS because we want to see how FPS looks. And for the rendering mode, I highly recommend you guys to go for performance beta and it will ch take effects when we uh, restart the game. So, yep. And then for allow multi threaded rendering, go for on, for GPU crash debugging, go for off, for latency markers, go to off, and NVIDIA reflects low latency, go to on plus boost, for DLSS off, and latency flash off. Also, ray tracing should be turned off. So these are the best settings for Fortnite, and I believe this will help you guys a lot. So that was all for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if this had helped you, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We are really close to 20k and I am really excited to see that number on my screen. So please consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. It will help me out a lot. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.